Step in the box, baseball fans. Welcome back to another episode. We are in part four of the 2021 Tops Series 1 hanger case. I might have to shut my doors because the motorcycle's going by. But uh, we're on the part four. We have 16 hanger boxes left. As you can see in front of us, we've had some sweet red ice ice baby poles of rookies. Joe Odell short print, but without further ado, let's step in the box. Let's rip some of these open and let's see what we can hit. What's up, Lee Lando? I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut this door real quick. Sorry about that, man. It is a beautiful day here in Illinois. What's up, man? It is a beautiful day here. I had the doors open today for the first time this year. Had some guys ripping through. Welcome in, Lee Lando. Looper Sports Cards. Mad Sweeper, what's up, Nasca? JTR Cards, Matt Plummer. It was definitely a Harley, man. It was ripping through. Here we go. See what we can pull tonight. This case has been nice. Real nice. So nice, I was talking to my buddy who got these that uh, in, they're in hobby boxes, there weren't many short prints. I think we've pulled seven short prints in this case so far. See how many we get. That uh, the retail of these were delayed. And I'm wondering if these got more short prints than the other ones. Here's a rainbow foil. Hey, thanks, uh, Brand37. Rainbow foil. Here's our Flux, or Redux, not Flux, Larkin, Hank Aaron through the years. Uh, the first one, Mitch Hanniger, Mitch Hanniger. And there's our first Bohm, base Bohm. Lux debut. I should have these packs memorized by now. I hope you guys are doing well this evening. 16 of these seems to be taken in that 45 minute range. Had to move around the table. And let's keep rolling, man. Awesome, John. Go Cubs, go. I'm still not going to get excited by the Cubs until we're about up. We're going to find out this first month. Nasca's a Sox fan. We're going to find out this first month about the Cubs. They play some pretty good teams this first month. We are going to find out. We got an orange Ice Ice Baby coming up. Was watching sport. If you, uh, I really love sports card investors' um, channel. He had some good insight on. What's up, baseball lover? He had some good insight on PSA. If you're not subscribed to him, I recommend doing so. Always check that last card for a seal number. Ice Ice Baby. Another Josh Bell. We I we pulled a Josh Bell. Um, can't remember what card. It was an Ice Ice Baby. Pulled that one already in this case. I'm going to have to look to see what color it was. Lots of rookie inserts in there. Sorry I'm flying through the inserts. If they're not good inserts, any trout's a good trout. But, uh, here's this back-to-back -back Jacks. It might have been a green. I have it in this pile in front of me, but I don't want to stop. I know two Josh Bells. It might have been a green. I don't think it was a red. Here's the back-to-back -back pack jack with Carlson and Bart. Yeah, I, uh, I'm going to pull those all those rookies out 
And then after I get this last bundle sorted, I don't know if I'm gonna do it tonight or tomorrow. I'm not gonna do it live, but I am gonna do a full recap of the case. So you can see for yourself what a, what a case of cards looks like, the inserts and whatnot. I've been pretty sloppy here, but here's what I've been doing just here of like the first part of the case. Pretty crazy, but I'll have a better, I'll have a better view of that when we're done. 64 hanger boxes in a case, 64. Baseball lover, I go to many targets, man, but I'm kind of giving up on going to targets. Gurney, Vernon Hills, Lake Bluff, Mundelein, Crystal Lake, Lake Zurich, Kenosha, <laughs> Racine, Milwaukee. I've been to all of them, dude. Elgin. <laughs> I'll just keep ripping through them. Uh, but I, I'm I'm done. This nonsense of getting up at four in the morning and getting in line is not for me. Lou Bob Cup is not for me. Here is a Zach Britton rainbow foil. I'm just going to, when Bowman Megas come out, I'm just going to go at 8 o'clock, just before 8 o'clock, and I'm just going to tell anybody in line, if you get a Bowman Mega, I'll pay you 30 bucks for a Bowman Mega cash right here. I haven't been over to Mundelein in, in the last week. There's a Posh. I just, uh, I don't mind waiting, but not four hours in the morning. It's tough, man. Just going to start paying the secondary market prices for stuff I want to buy. Bowman, Bowman Mega. And then if people don't buy it and leave it, I go in there and get a couple. What's up, man? Good to see everybody. Let's keep it rolling. Again, I'm interested to see if we pull any short prints out of this last half. Bowman Megas are $19.99 out of the gate. Last year, they were selling for 30 bucks the first week, or two weeks. Now, the Bowman Chrome Megas that came out later in the year were more expensive. But they had more cards in them, I believe. Let's keep rolling. Go Reds. I love what Nick Castiano did at uh, at home plate yesterday. That was great. I like him as a player. And here we got a short print. Oh, it fumbled out of here. Let's see if I can get this working a little better today. It is a base short print, so we hit another one. It is a Max Scherzer. So we've had Juan Soto and now Max Scherzer. As a regular SP. So I think that's the eighth short print out of this case now. It's a nice Devers. Haven't pulled that one yet. Not numbered. There's the Bobby D laying the wood. Nasca's the man. Uh... What do you got, like, five, six cases full to? Um, I've probably opened up. There's Joe Adele. i probably opened up a couple cases worth of uh, Series 1. I usually open up a couple cases worth every year. Man, there's a lot to like about Nick Castellanos, man. Dude plays hard. Missing the playoffs hurt him last year. I'll tell you that. He wanted to go to the playoffs bad. Hey, what's up, Dylan? The show was awesome again. It was popping again. Card markets are crazy. Had a good time. Sold almost everything I had again. It's crazy. My buddy sold his table. 
Um, again, Sports Card Investor just had an episode. Watch it after this one. Don't leave. But if you do leave, I will have a recap. But he's talking about how crazy card shows are. Yeah, it was the year that it was, uh, sorry, not last year. It was the year when uh, the Cubs picked him up for that second half of the season. Last year was a weird year with the, uh, with the pandemic, man. Let's see. So we pulled a SP already. Again, I'm looking for those 52 chromes. I always check that back card to see if it's serial numbered. The one before these Redux cards. Four of those. And then we have our inserts. Oh, Boba Shed Auto. Never mind. You know, I've thought about doing that, Fraylin, a vlog at the, uh, at the show. The problem is, man, dude, the shows have been so busy. It's been nonstop that I don't have time to do much. I would love to like go around and even do some shopping, but I that's where I would need to bring somebody with me to run the table. But man. Uh Max Scherzer SP base C SP. I think that is the eighth one in this case. This is box number five, or uh, sorry, box number six of 16. So we're coming down the last part of this case. Hope you guys are doing good. Happy Easter. Hope you enjoyed your day. I know I did. And now I'm going to enjoy it some more. Ripping some cards. Yeah, the red ices are to 199 Blue Bob Cup. Got a rainbow foil. Make sure that one's not numbered. Happy Easter to you too, guys. Muncie. Here comes our... Inserts. Ooh, I like that Jeter right there. That reprint. That's a nice one. Uh, biggest pulls, Joe Adele short print. Here's a posh. And an Alec Bomb red Ice Ice Baby. Um, so here we go. Got them right here on the stand. Three red ice rookies and Joe Adele SP. So not bad. And a lot of short prints. But we're looking for one, I'm looking for one more color, like good low number color. A camo, here's this back-to-back -back pack. Back-to-back -back Jacks, Carlson, and Bart. But I'm looking for one more good color. We've had a Father's Day camo, or a Father's Day blue, sorry. Would love to see a camo or another out of 50 color. We will see. Those are pretty hard to hit. But these short prints have been nice out of here. If you so kindly could hit that thumbs up button, the like button. If you're new, hit that subscribe button, notification bell. And there's a Tatis. I appreciate that, Fraylin, man. It's been fun. It's been a fun ride, man. I got into I got back into it at a good time. Back in 2015, my cubbies were starting to get back in and rocking and rolling. It'd have been cool to get an Acuna numbered card, but here is a Jordan. Jordan's coming out of the gate, swinging the bat. I love these. Again, I am putting together a complete set of these. I'm going to wait until I'm done opening series one to start buying singles. Guys, it never fails. 
If you start buying singles before you're done opening, you're gonna pull the one you need. It never fails. Then you have duplicates and you're like, why did I just buy this one? Casey Mize. But I can't believe Bowman's coming out pretty soon. Bowman Megas will be coming out. I'm kind of hoping Bowman and Bowman Megas are on the shelf and everybody else is buying select football and prison basketball and pick those up. I'm hoping. Then I'll have to go to the parking lot and every, every lady that comes in shopping for the day, hey, I will buy you a bottle of wine if you go over there and buy a couple Bowman Mega Boxes. <laughs> Pro tip, ladies love bottles of wine. Get them a $10 bottle of wine for two Mega Boxes at the service desk. <laughs> uh, I'm cracking myself up on that one. <laughs> okay, so this is the eighth box. Last one of this row. Lelando, I am not married. I used to be. I am not married. I don't think I'm ever going to get married again. Hashtag single life. <laughs> Juan Soto there. We have a home run challenge card. The, I tell you what, these have been hard to hit. Another Schwarber. And a Lindor blue insert. Yeah, I've asked a, a lot of people ask me how they pull off buying so many cards. Well, I'm single. <laughs> uh, my, I feel so bad for my coworker. He used to buy so many cards. Alec Bohm. My coworker used to buy a lot of car cards. And ever since he's gotten married, he is on a leash. And he cannot buy cards anymore. Poor dude. I teach PE and health. Middle school PE health. Used to coach baseball and basketball. Retired from coaching. So that right there, guys, was the final of the eight. Here's the empty sleeve. On to the next one. Eight boxes to go. <laughs> That's true, JBox16. Some people are a little more receptive than others. More power to them. Tell you what, this was the perfect time for people to open up. Uh, right down the street from my house, a family video closed down. The building's amazing. I would love to open up a card shop. This building would have been amazing for a card shop. But that is a whole nother beast. Owning your own business, it sounds great on paper, but wow. It's hard to pull off. Leody, I was hoping that one would be numbered. Here is a Whit Merrifield gold. Whit Merrifield does not get the hobby love he deserves. This guy's been a good player. What do you guys think about Whit Merrifield? Guy's been a great player. Just plays for Kansas City and doesn't get the love. There was a Mize insert. Brady Singer insert. Oh, Tani, that's a cool one. There's a screwball. Yeah, I, I actually think a good, healthy relationship should include, you know, like if, if you're... If your girlfriend or wife wants to have a hobby, you should let her. And then if you have a hobby that's healthy, there's a lot of things worth collecting cards than going to the bars, drinking, and doing other stuff. I'll tell you that. However, guys, I will warn everybody, I'll say this, there's a breaker that I break with, and he says it best. 
Don't spend money with me, guys, that you don't have. I don't want you going broke. I don't want you going bankrupt. I don't want you getting divorced because of baseball cards and cardboard. So don't overextend yourself. Don't spend money you don't have. Don't take big gambles if you don't have a bankroll. I guess that's some advice I would give to people who are opening. Uh, I see people... I see people going out trying to buy this product right now to make money. And this is not a make your money up front kind of product. Like, uh, I did not get divorced because of cards. That's for sure. But uh, I would not, I would, this isn't a product to make your money up front. Like if you're trying to open this to hit autographs or relics or rookies to sell, you're in this for the wrong reason. This is series one and flagship is a long-term game. Here's a Miggy. This is a long-term game, guys. Another Chrome. Here's a, we've had some nice, we've had some nice, uh, there's a Correa. I've had some nice uh, gold stars. This is interesting. There's any trout's a good trout. Pete Alonzo and any trout. I'm going to sleeve this trout, this insert trout. This one's a nice one. I like this one, a trout. A little reprint. That's a better than most trouts out of this product. There's Scooball. Yeah, for sure, Fraylin. Like, like, people ask me why I can do what I can do this year. It's because stuff that I bought in 17 and 18, like Juan Soto's graded. Here's a Mount Castle. Like, I, I sold, like, 50 Juan Soto graded cards, man. And... You build up a big budget real fast when you sell some some of those cards. But again, you know when you're buying a few boxes here and there over the course of a year, and that's the difference between that's the difference between now and then is like I could go around and buy, you know, a couple blaster boxes on a Friday night one week. And I could buy 2018 update all the way through the spring and summer of the next year in a 19. You can't do that now. You got to buy it while it's out. Um, not really any good Astros cards per se. Like that's what's really changed now compared to then. The wax prices are crazy expensive. And if you see it now, I have a rule. I have a rule now. If I see it, I buy it if I can. And I'm getting to the point where I'm buying it on the secondary market at, a, at the right prices because you'll never get that chance again. Making sure that this one. I think I pulled a gold Bregman. There's a bomb rookie. There's the Carlson. Those are guys in the same pack every time. Yeah, for sure. There's that Tatis insert. I'll put that there. It's crazy what those inserts are going for. Yeah, you can buy only buy. There's the Posh. You can only buy a couple boxes at a time, you know. I saw a picture the other day on the internet where there was people in a mire. And they were set up playing video games in a mire. PSA 10 for 8,500. That's crazy. Yeah, and your wife's like, oh, wow, we can go on vacation now. Dude, those inserts are going for crazy. Like, I mean, dude, an insert back in the day like that was a quarter. I bet you that insert's selling for five bucks. I wouldn't be surprised. That's crazy. We got five boxes to go. 
Jimmy, I've thought about that. I don't think it's stopping any time this year. I think it's going to keep going until, until the market softens in terms of money. When people run out of disposable income, I think that's when it'll soften. But I don't think it's going to stop this year. And if they keep pumping out stimulus checks, it's going to keep going higher and higher, man. I mean, I've spent my stimulus check on cards both times now. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I've been pretty fortunate. But I know a lot of people that have done that. I'll tell you that I'm not the only one. There's been a lot of people who've done that. The card shows... Uh, sports card investor was just talking about how big that the Dallas card show is becoming. Bobby D laying the wood. Bobby D. You know what? I have, there's a Joe Adell. I've talked to a few people. I'm telling, if you have cards to sell, and you're looking to cash in, there is no better time to sell than right now. I mean, if you're looking to make some money and sell your cards, you can't ask for a better time than now. Let's see here, complete sets are right now. Complete 2021 sets are going for 30 bucks. Yeah, I'm actually surprised complete sets are that low. Um, don't know where to start. I mean, I would if you're gonna sell, I would uh I would pick through some of the stuff that maybe you don't want to sell and then start with the higher tiered stuff and then work your way down. If you have a local card show, know what you're doing, get in there, sell some stuff. I like buying in person. I don't like buying over the internet. I know some people buy over Facebook. I quit selling on eBay for personal reasons. I just, is not my favorite thing to do with eBay, dealing with eBay. Let's see here. So again, making sure that's not a short print or not a short, but there's an Adele rookie. But a serial numbered card, LK line. There's a scoo ball. I'm not even so much with eBay. The fees are one thing. It's just when bu people buy and don't pay, people try to scam you. You sell a nice card, like say you sell a nice chrome Tatis card. They say it's jacked up. What's up, Alex? They say your Tatis card's jacked up and send you a brutal, you too, happy Easter. They send you a brutal copy back and keep your nice clean copy. I just, there's so many scammers. Yeah, Facebook meetup, offer up. Locally, I think, and card shops buying. We got three boxes left. Only one short print in this half. Let's see if we have another one. But overall, this case has been pretty nice. Loaded up. Absolutely loaded up on rookie stuff. And again, I will have a recap of all four cases in one video. Might even get that done tonight. We'll see. After I get done with here, I'm going to sort through this little last bunch to make sure I got the rookies out of it. I get the get it sorted the way I want to, look for serial number cards. And there's a serial number card. Another pirate, Ice Ice Baby. This one's turned around. I was like, if that's a Josh Bell, I'm going to go nuts. Ice Ice Baby Green. Colin Moran.
fed some ice ice babies. Joey Bart, Ripken. And then Jim Palmer. Man, that, Dallas, that, if you, if you are selling your whole collection, that you gotta get you gotta be willing to give a lot. Cause if somebody's gonna take a chance to buy it, you gotta give somebody like a huge discount to pay up and take the chance to make money. If you were local, I would love to look at your collection. Do I collect vintage? I don't collect vintage. I have a couple vintage cards of Cubs, but I don't go out of my way trying to buy. All right, we got two boxes to go. Thanks again for tuning in. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. I'm not sure when my next opening is going to be. Might not be for a while, but I have a PSA order. A two, I have a two-card express order coming back. That should be this week, Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. It's shipping. It says Monday, but you never know. But here, base series one, flagship product, a case of hanger boxes, an absolute ton of cards, 4,200 plus cards, Lou Bob Cup. And there is a Kershaw rainbow foil. I like that one. I've had a few returns. I've had a few people scam me on some cards, and it's really turned me off. Pulled that hobby not too long ago. There's a Bregman insert. Any, any trout's a good trout. If you're selling on eBay, sooner or later, somebody's trying to get you. Or... The best one yet is when you have a card. Here's the back-to-back -back Jacks pack. The best one is, is when you have it for, for an offer and you come down to that person's price and then they don't pay you. That one drives me insane. Absolutely insane. So literally, I have no listings. I have not had any listings on eBay for quite some time now. And here we go. We are down to the 64th box. The last box of the case. Nothing like a good hanger case. We have not had any big bangers in this last one. So we're looking for some last pack mojo. Ah, that's so tough, Zach. My gut feeling says like somewhere between 10 and 10 and 20 bucks. But I could be way off on this. Here we go. Last pack. Mojo. I'll do a recap of this one. And then again, keep an, keep an eye out for the entire case recap. It's only 7.30 Central. I might be able to get that done tonight. Probably going to take me an hour to go through what I just opened here. Tatis Base. So the best colored card so far, Father's Day Blue. I think it was Lorenzo Kane. Does not look like we're getting a sort pent here. Nothing turned around. It's usually right there. Buster Posey. 52 chromes. I absolutely, I'll say it every time. I love these cards. Pulled at least 10 of these in a case. At least. Rainbow Foil. This has probably been the most uneventful side of all four of them. And there's the Bobby D laying the wood. Yeah, I had a friend who also said he's getting he got scammed on uh you on um Amazon as well. Yeah, I saw those Yerman Mercedes. That's insane. The guy's 20 years old. Has been in the minor leagues for 10 years. I mean, that's crazy. 
Casey Mize. Anybody who's paying that much for those autos is out of their mind. I mean, I get picking one up, but I mean, come on, $200? That is out of your mind stuff. That's how crazy this hobby's gotten, man. And then you have a guy like, like, think about this. People are paying more for his auto than Jose Abreu's PSA 10. Well, I don't know. I wonder what Jose Abreu's uh, PSA 10 is going for. All right, here we go. Let's do a little recap on this side. Um, here's the 52 Chrome. We had a Tatis, Trout, Lubob. Tatis insert. Trout insert, Trout, here's another 52 Chrome, Tatis, Trout, Schwarber home run challenge card. Did not, man, compared to last year, not many of those. So that was that little stack. Again, this is probably the weakest of the four. Couple golds, some nice players, Correa and Merrifield. And then our Ice Ice Babies have to be the worst team. I'm sorry, Pirates fans. But the Pirates are trash bags. They are a 100-loss team, and it had to be two Pirates in this. One of them doesn't even play for them. Then I, I don't know about the other. Again, I love the Chromes. Love the Chromes. Here are the base rookies. Again, I'll go through the base to make sure I didn't miss any. Lots of base rookies in this case. Yeah, Josh Bell's a heck of a player. Imagine Cole, Bell, Meadows. I mean, what were they thinking? And then the one SP out of this part of the case, the Max Scherzer. And I'll do a really good recap coming up. I probably will get to it. And man, guys, this is what the insanity looks like after you open up a case. Here's all the inserts. Huge stack. I'll get those all sorted out. And it's a lot of cards, man. It's a lot of cards. But I got them sorted by rookies and whatnot. But I appreciate it. And guys, thanks for tuning in. Really appreciate it. Until next time, everybody. Peace.